Well, folks, I'm recording this on Friday, June the 14th. And yesterday, Donald Trump visited Capitol Hill. Um, Now, look, I consider Donald Trump a man only in the very loosest of terms. Think about this guy. He lives a soft, coddled life. He's got a great dedication to makeup, hair care, and luxury products. Um, and, And to say nothing for his total lack of manly virtues like integrity, honesty, honor, strength, courage, you name any of them, that he lacks them everywhere. But Trump does have one thing that he is truly dominant in, and that is forcing his political allies to humiliate themselves at his feet. He did that yesterday on Capitol Hill. And although every report of the of the event was like, oh my God, it was a disaster, he's crazy. Um, that you know, He was saying the wildest shit, he was going to war with Taylor Swift, going to war with Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the whole thing. Somebody described it as like talking to your drunk uncle at the family reunion. They still bent the knee. Mitch McConnell, who hates Donald Trump, who hates him with the fire of a billion sons, still bent the knee. They all went out and they were all kissed his ass, kissed the ring, kissed whatever, you know, what the, the, the umber starfish. They love this guy in public. They all went and bowed, bowed down to him. Couple, a couple members got the hell out of town, but 99% of the Republican caucus was there. Um, I just want to tell you guys, I want you to think about one event in time. In 1943, every Nazi still thought that Adolf Hitler was the greatest thing since prepared mustard, and they would never say a harsh word about him in public, but they also tried to kill him that year. Um, and by 1946, they were all saying, Nazi, I, don't, I, don't, I was never a Nazi per se. This will be like that when it ends. You will all run from the humiliation you've inflicted upon yourselves in the end. You will all pretend you never liked him. You will all pretend you were never part of it. You will all pretend that you never bent down and put this country on the sacrificial altar before this man who would kill it. And that's it. And you're all on the enemies list.